Hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Welcome back to another anime reaction. Today, be watching Dead Mount Death Play episode. I think this is episode seven, right? Yes, it is. And if you guys do not know, last week we watched episode six, and in that episode, we got to finally meet the family that our guy Isekai into his body. And the family's pretty cool. It seems they're all like chill. The grandfather is a cool guy. Uh, he almost butchered our boy though, because he literally knew that our guy wasn't his uh, grandson. So luckily. Nothing bad happened. I really thought he was gonna get butchered for a second there, but he stopped the fire that was actually gonna take out to his uncle. Like, I don't know, were they uncles, twins? They were twins, but I don't remember what family line they were part of. Either way though, all you need to know is that our boy stopped them from getting massacred, of course, and butchered, and they're still alive. And of course he avenged the ghost that died trying to protect them because it couldn't really do anything in the first place, which is kind of just as a tragic backstory in that part. So we'll be now resuming after that incident and after the whole plot twist of the guy who was the firebug person wasn't the firebug actually and it was somebody or some chick holding an umbrella that says fire safety which was quite ironic in itself. So the question is what's going to be happening here today that's what we're going to find out if you guys do enjoy my anime reaction though make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed because a little bit later here we'll be reacting to cheat skill which i'm looking forward to and of course i will be breaking this down for youtube so if you do want the full length reaction consider supporting me on patreon get access to full length reaction exclusive anime reactions that i don't post here on youtube and so much more but for right now though let's get into it okay so it looks like we got a crime scene or something here. Oh yeah, this is out the incident. So it looks like he's gonna explain himself now to the master since he was about to get butchered last time. So he's able to sense that people are nearby watching him. So it looks like he's able to tell that the people around him move. That's why he wants privacy to tell him what's going on. So it looks like a boy is admitting the fact that he's not from this world to the guy because he needs to explain himself if this guy's gonna butcher him. I, I, even if he tried butchering our boy, I presume he would just kill him. I don't know. Seems very logical to me. Get rid of the evidence kind of deal. But then I guess he would have to deal with the family. I don't know. So it looks like Lemming does work for this guy, but we don't know what this guy is up to, like his uncle and how deep it goes. You know what I'm saying? Um, I will quickly say I just saw something ingenious to the thumbnail design, but I, I forgot that I could have done that. I've been so smart. There's a frame from the intro that could have been used for the fight between Lemming and, uh, of course, our boy, but I didn't use that. So it looks like our boy Lemming is told the information of what's going on about this guy to the guy he's working with, and then um, we have uh, him now judging them. And now she's mad at her because he slit her his son's hair. Is his son? His son's throat? You guys explain in the comments last video. I want to find the comment. But supposedly it's his son. And she killed him. So he's mad at her. And I, and I don't blame him. Like, go all out, my guy. So it looks like our girl's kind of satisfied if she was to be killed, of course, but uh, he's uh Looks like this uh, doll is our boy is a son and looks like he's able to tell by just well, the way he's acting He's protecting her He's able to tell just from that bro Bro He finds it funny I guess soon or is it only is annoying? I don't know he finds it funny. It's ironic. So we now know he understands that Porka's a good person or that our corpse god is. And of course, she would have been satisfied with being killed due to the fact that she already was going to kind of butcher herself in the first place, right? Because she already knows, like, if I'm able to kill an innocent person, like, I shouldn't be in this world in the first place. So, like, he was fine with... She was fine if he was going to butcher her. Does that make sense? But, uh, that's no longer going to be the case anymore. So it looks like we're now uh, seeing what's going on here. It looks like this robots are made. One of us built a robot. So he wants the point of making a robot for him with the thing that he provided. And that way, his soul can be transferred to it. 
He's excited though, look, he wants a robot body, he wants to be like super android, <laughs> like a Genos, that'd be kind of cool, I don't know, that'd be sick. He's not gonna let out her off the hook just of yet, but he does appreciate the fact that, uh, he's seen my grandkid twice. She's slowly getting a redemption arc, you know what I'm saying? Like, from her, like, becoming an absolute monster, she is a monster now, but she's kind of slowly reverting back to being, a, uh, redeeming herself, if that makes sense. I know. She's definitely, like, best girl, in my opinion. She's just, like, she's so playful and fun, but so straight to the point and ruthless it's so good it's so good so the the comment doesn't play porco is basically their uncle's their uncle because his wife okay i'm trying to read this comment it doesn't make that much sense like i i because the question i asked in the last video was uh how is he related to the family and the guy explained the comments which i appreciate hound uh but uh nice uh, but it doesn't make sense in the context of figuring out where how Porco's related. I assume he's just a direct a son of him. Porco's uh, though appreciating the the chest love, if you know what I mean. How these two a mess, man. They still haven't cleaned up after they got saved. You think they would ever clean themselves off? Looks like I appreciate though that they saved her, saved them. <laughs> お礼を言う相手が違うよ。さっき君たちを助けたのは僕じゃなくて新宿にいるカバネ神殿って占い師と君たちの守護霊だよ。私には見えないけどどうするの？その守護霊さんと契約するの？So they don't know that he's uh not uh, the their uncle, but looks like the ghost is satisfied and they're just confused. So, yeah, and she's appreciative of him. My question is now, is the ghost going to go away or is he going to stay or how does that work? That's my question. It's kind of interesting that the ghost went from being mad to much more of a calm, polite person in the background. And we got this guy from last episode, which we don't know what's going on with him. And he assumes that the the mirror bug merely played an Im amateur or imitated the actual fire bug. Oh, is this guy freaking out? No shot. Bro came prepared. Bro already got out without them noticing. How? How does this guy just sneak out of the jail with absolute ease? It's like everyone was on him and the guy was prepared too, but he just blitzed out with absolute with no problem and we now got a white crocodile for some reason what how do you do that man it's like making buildings disappear and stuff like that but it's more just him doing acts to do like really random things that are out of the ordinary he painted an entire building look through the sky like what this is so hard to contain Looks like the whole police gang is here to get him, and he's letting himself get captured. Bro's quite childish. He's a magician that's committed to the work. He won the show's point by like showing his shenanigans as though they were real, with, uh, even like if there was actually magic. And he did it in order to make people's dreams come true, like they have an idea that behind something, which isn't there. This guy's annoyed at him, restrained him. Everyone's just aping him because they want to lock him up, bro. If this guy can actually use magic, that'll be interesting. I doubt that's the case, though. 
I am just assuming he's just really, really smart to the point he overprepares to a stupidity level. Oh my god, this guy's reporting incident himself. Look, he's the guy who's the reporter. Bro is the exact guy who's reporting this. So there would be no way for this information to leak out. His feats perform that are inhumanly possible. Dude, this is stupid, man. So the guy was already prepared to escape, but then already prepared to report the information that he would escape from prison to the general public. Like, what? So it looks like this guy is like the same person as the chick that they attract troublemakers, which makes him an interesting character. I looks at the firebug breathers there with him. We don't know if this guy's a girl or guy. We just know like he's uh, shocked by the call I got. Bro's a true magician. So they won't face each other and look at each other, but they'll talk over the phone. So it looks like the guy who's learned his phone call off the phone number off the sheer will. Whim. Looks like we should have burned him. So it looks like they're gonna get something. I don't know what's going on with that. How is he blocking fire with his cards? That doesn't seem physically possible. Huh. So it looks like enjoying your life is kind of considered as being wasteful. Is that that's what they're trying to imply with this fight? And they're also trying to apply with the things he's doing. So it looks like there's some. Ra so it looks like there's something to this. Oh, is he done? It looks like a goner after that one, sheep. This guy sounds like a robot by the way he talks. How is he not dead? Dude, it's like a comedian. He feels like a Joker character who just won't die. Bro standing on top of the umbrella is who he's holding up. I feel like that would collapse in on itself, wouldn't it? Bro, so there's something to it like they know that our guy is under the world but they don't know what he is exactly but they might have to cross the line in order to get rid of him if they find it as a bug or a nuisance oh i'm not entirely sure but it also seems like the magician likes magic so if magic's real it'd be interested in him but if we need to stop him from crossing the line to figure it out then yeah so someone's at the door but who could it be a giant shark. Let's go over that episode now. There's a, there's a lot in my mind. Okay, so that was episode seven. So we now find out the firebug actually gave him a call, the guy who broke out of prison because they're interested in, in each other's business. But also they have something that comedy can relate to is like waste. The way they see waste of things is different from others who might. And it's more the concept of like, 
enjoying your life is quite it's like wasting time but at the same time it, it, it it's it's good to be wasteful if that makes sense like they both respect that kind of ideology and of course they're curious about the guy who ends the world of course god and we don't know if he is waste or he is not meaning that should they get rid get rid of him from the system or should they leave him be and i'm honestly pretty sure they're trying to they might try to get rid of him at the same time the guy who's a magician most likely won't let that happen because his whole concept of things is that he wants to show people that you can do magic even though it doesn't look it even looks like though he's really using magic and the concept that they can believe in magic idea of magic so I don't know this his thought process like the thought process is so interesting i love it but at the same time it's so interesting i don't know it's fun it's fun nonetheless now we also figured out though that the family does know that he is corpus god uh but he also knows the that the body the soul is actually in the shark doll the grandpa but we also now know that he's saying you should try to get him a robotic body and of course the shark is like oh yeah i'm gonna be like an android i could be like genos all that jazz i don't know i thought that, that'd be really cool that would be neat if they actually do that i don't think that's gonna be like for a little while but if they do it like soon that'd be cool but i highly do doubt that because it'd be not quite convenient because like what time money all that jazz so we'll continue next episode to see what's gonna go on between firebug and the phantom uh, I think I want to title the video like the Phantom Escapes or something like that or something like Firebug. I don't know. I, I'm probably gonna figure that out a little bit later here, but uh, this was a good episode. This was a good episode. There's a lot more questions, a lot more interest building up. I'm like now curious, like how is this magician guy doing all these feats more than anything else? Like, does he actually have magic or does he just overly plan ahead to a ridiculous point, like a Joker character? I'm honestly thinking that was more likely the case, but we'll have to find out later. If you guys enjoy my anime reaction here today, make sure to smash like button, get subscribed so you don't miss on future anime reactions, because a little bit later here, we'll be reacting to cheat skill. And of course, I will be breaking this down for YouTube, so if you do want the full link reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon. Always appreciated. Until then, have a great day, and I'll see you in another video. G-Man, out.